smile. I want to I wanna see if I can show you this morning how, darn it, I just put lotion on my hand. I want to show you how I use my bow at all. I want to show you that. Just a second now, see? I sit here all this time trying to get prepared, trying to get this camera at the right angle so you can see what I'm doing and I'm not prepared. Oh, here. This is what I need. I need this wrench. I love this here bow at all. It makes, it's by Zutter, and it makes the most awesome bows. For instance, for instance, this one here, if you can see, nah, well, I can't see that. No. Can't get my hands in the right place. This is a three, this has got three loops on each side. And then it's got the little tails. And then I put a thing on it to tie. But I'm going to show you first, I'm going to show you first how I, um, how I do a, just one simple bow. See this, this bow at all number three is got three rows of um, holes where you can put your little pegs. And then it's got this cute little side thing where you can stick your little H3 pegs in there. H3. But anyhow, um, now, I should have took these out first, because see, last night I made a jillion bows. But now, let me show you. I want to put this spool over here on this spool holder doohickey first. Okay, now hopefully you can see it. This is as best as I could arrange my camera without putting it behind my head, and then you can't see a flipping thing. I gotta figure out how I can put it behind my head. But anyway, without my head getting in the way. I think I'd have to chop off my head. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this ribbon. I got um this is one half, is it one two? Seven eighths. This is a seven eighths ribbon right here. And this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm going to start with as much as I want on my tail. See, so I figure I'm going to have my tail about this big. And so I'm going to hold that behind. With that black back there, it is hard to see. I wonder if I would put that black, see, since my, since my ribbon is plum colored, it's plum pretty. Let me do this, see if that works better. Now, I'm going to hold my ribbon behind the two pegs. And then I'm going to take and wrap it on this side and then go and wrap it on this side. See there? And so it kind of looks like a backwards. No, it looks like a Z. It's not backwards. Okay, the letter Z. Now, so I got it wrapped on those two sides like that. See? Now I'm going to take this front one. And I'm going to go around to the back. And then I'm going to take the back one and come to the front. And you can take that and fold it, too, and make a smaller thing that goes around the duhiki of the bow. And then I reach that to the back. And then I switch hands. I'm going to put this ribbon that's coming off the spool in this hand. And, and then the, the tail in this hand, in my right hand. And now I'm going to make like a C there, right there with this one. And I'm going to go around there and pull this, this one through there. And you're like making a knot. But what it's going to do is it's going to make a, what they call a C knot. So then 
you adjust the bow, you make sure that it's like this is in the center, and then you kind of just rock it back and forth. And then what I do is I'll pull this back like this, and I'll cut I'll cut my the cut end of the ribbon because I like my ribbons to have this this kind of an end like that whatever you call that thing and then I'll cut I'll pull that ribbon off the spool to get it the same length over here on this side and then and then voila there I got that and then you just pull this off and you have a perfectly tied bow see how perfectly tied that bow is it's perfectly tied and it will not come apart. You can pull on these sides, will not come apart. So that's with a one loop. Okay, now, now I'm gonna put my other pegs in here because I'm gonna show you, now you can make these bows like very wide. If you, and like if you're making a bow like for a wreath, or something you might want it really wide and um, so I'm putting these pegs back in and I'm putting the back pegs in at at um, size three over here the, they're they're numbered and it's three here and it's seven here but three, four, five, six, seven. So that puts at that three and a half and at seven and a half if you're looking down here at this ruler. So that's four inches. Okay, and then the other one is a half inch smaller and the front one is a half inch smaller yet. Or an inch smaller actually, half inch on each side. And then we get them screwed right in there. You can tighten them up a little bit with the wrench that comes right along with it. Okay, we get that right in there. Tighten them up. Okay. They don't, I mean, you don't have to worry about getting them real, real tight. But if you don't have them tight and then you do like a lot of bows, then it might come loose. You don't want it to come loose. There's a little holder upper thing or dingy, thing dinger right in the side there. And you can put your wrench in there. So you'll never lose your wrench. Okay, now I'm going to show you how now how I do my triple bow. I'm going to show you now here. Again, I'm going to use about that much of a tail. Well, actually, I go a little bit more than I want for the tail. A little bit more than I want for tail because part of it will wrap. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm behind them, them pegs. And I'm going to wrap it around the two pegs. And there it is already a Z again like it did with a, with a one, with only the two pegs. It's like a Z. But I'll keep going and I'll wrap around the middle pegs. And then I'll wrap it again around the front pegs. Now it's wrapped on all the pegs. Let me see if I can tilt this. So you can see how it's sort of wrapped on all the pegs. All right. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's all wrapped. Now I'm going to take this front one again and we'll flip it over to the back. And then I take the, the one that's on the front and I flip it to the back. Then I take the one, the cut end, and I'm going to flip it to the front. I'm going to kind of fold it a little bit. You don't have to. And then I flipped it to the front and I'm going to the back with it. And grab it again with my left hand. But now I'm going to switch hands. So I got this one coming off the spool in my left hand and this one in my right hand. And I make the letter C out of that. Just twist it around 
and then I'm going to throw that other one. See, I made the letter C, and then this cut one, I go under and through. And then I kind of pull it a little bit, but then I want to get my notch. I want to adjust my notch, make sure it's in the middle. I want that to be in the middle. And then I'm going to take my strings and I'm going to then pull them tight. And you kind of give it a little bit of a rocking motion and then you get it nice, very, very tight. Now I see my, this is my long piece and I'm going to cut that. I'm going to um, make that into that shape there. There's a name for it. It escapes me. Then I make the other one. I want to make it the same. So I'll cut that one. These scissors aren't all they're cracked up to be. Okay, then I pull it off and I have got a three layer bow. If you can see that, I should have probably used the lighter ribbon. That's a three layer bow. And this is using double-sided satin ribbon, one color. And it's, you can see, one, two, three, three loops. I hope you can see. It's kind of hard to see. All right, now, so, and then if you only want two loops, you just use two sets of pegs. You can go more than three loops. You can go with, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go, I'm behind them. I always start with a cut end over here in my left hand and off the spool in my right hand. And I'm going to twit, I'm going to twit, do this thing, whatever I said it was, wrap with my right hand. Okay. But now I'm going to go two times. I went once on the back peg. I'm going to go again on the back peg. Okay, then I'm going to the middle pegs. I'm going to go once and wrap the both pegs. And I'm going to go again and wrap both pegs. Now I'm going to go to the front two. And I'm going to wrap both pegs and again wrap both pegs. And you can just wrap and wrap and wrap and um, make, now especially now if you were making a wide ribbon with a wide bowl and like with wired ribbon that you're going to use on like a wreath, this is how you would do that. Okay, so now I have those wrapped. So I actually have six wraps on there instead of three. So I'll do the same thing. I'll take this front piece that's hooked to the spool and I'm going to go around the back. Then I'm going to take that back piece and I'm going to pull that around the front underneath to the back. Now switch these hands. So now in your left hand, you have the piece that's coming out of the spool. And on your right hand, you have the um, cut piece. And so again, I'll make that C with the piece that's coming off the spool. And I'll wrap this under, over and under through. And then I'll pull that, I'm going to pull that tight. I'm going to adjust that center piece. And I'm going to tie, tighten it up. And I'm going to rock it. And, you, and you'll notice they call this a C-knot because on the back here, on the back, it'll actually look like a C. And it is a tight knot. It's not going to go anywhere. So then I will cut the ends however long you want the ends. And um, now there is also... On, on the board, on each end, there is what they call a helping hand peg, where you can put another peg in back here, 
And so then if you want more of these ties, of these strings hanging down, like on a wreath, you might want four or six even. And um, so you would put them, them on these helping hand pegs. Let me show you just real quickly. And um, let me see. Get my pegs. Let me get my pegs out. Yeah. Out here. Yeah. Out here. Yeah. Okay. So you can put these helping hand pegs then, what they call helping hands, and you put them in there into the, oh, that one doesn't go in there. Just a minute. Hold your drawers on for a second. I didn't have the correct one, the correct old bundle one. Let me get this one here. Okay, now, now then, now we're cooking. Okay, so you put that there. Now, well, I'm a, I am guess take this one off. But see now here on this one, I have six poofs on each side. I don't know what you call them. Loops, I guess. There are six on each side. See how that is? Six on each side now. And look how pretty that bow is. So beautiful. It is beautiful with, with the six on each side. Now, if you wanted to have, okay, let me see. If you want to have, for instance, a bow with more streamers at the bottom, you can take the, um, let's see. I'm going to cut these scissors. I'm just kind of disappointed in them. Um, I'm going to take two more pieces of ribbon. This is going to only be the streamers at the bottom. All right. I'm going to put them on these helping hand pegs. And they have like a little clip here that you go right here. That's like a little alien. We'll just hold them. That'll hold them for you. Okay, we're going to put them there like that. Didn't I screw that in correctly with the Marie? See there, once you don't get them in correctly. Oops, do you see that? You can't see that, can you? See, I'm clicking that in that. If there's a little, it says there right on the side, helping hand peg. And so let me get that in there. Wrap that ribbon around there, and now that little clip thingy right there will hold. Will hold. Oh, it's it's tight because it'll hold. Because I'm not strong like bull. I used to be strong like bull, not anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna leave them right back there now. And oh, getting more tight. Okay. They're going to stay back there. Now I'm going to get ribbon again. And I'm going to do just like I did before. I'm going to hold the cut end in my left hand off the spool in my right hand. And I'm going to wrap. And this one I'm going to just wrap once on each set of pegs. So I'll have three. Okay, wrap the back sets first. Don't make sure you remember to wrap this one on this side, on 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 the left side, because when I first started, I I'd wrap the right side and then go to the next set and forget that, and I had a mess. Okay, so you wrap them, then you go wrap these, the middle two, and you'll wrap the front two. Okay, so now I have got three wraps: the wide ones, the center ones, and the front ones. Now I'm going to go around again, and I'm going to go over even those extra pieces that I have back here that are being held on. I'm going to over that too. So now I'm going to take my bottom, my left hand string, 
And again, I'm going over those two. I'm incorporating those two right back in here. And I'm doing the same thing as I'm wrapping it around. See, just go over those. You've got it wrapped around the extra strings, the extra ribbon, and the bow. Now you pull that back again. And again, you'll cross over. You'll switch hands. So you've got the, the spool ribbon in your left hand, the cut ribbon in your right hand. You make the C out of this left hand one that you got this from the spool. And you go around, un, over and under. And then you pull and get your, see, then, then these strings will kind of automatically just pop back to the way they were before you cross your hands. And, um, and then I'm going to, again, adjust that in the middle, make sure my knot's right in the middle. And then I'm going to kind of give it that rocking motion. That rocking motion gives it that tight string. So now I want all my ribbons to be about the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and take these handles off, these pe peg holders, the helping hand gripper doohickeys. And that's tight on there. That's tight on there. Now, and because it will hold that ribbon for you. Pull this one off. Okay. Now I have my, I have six hanger downer thingy doohickeys. So, as you notice, I'm getting a little old and my words come to me kind of funny. So I'm going to cut that one. I want this one about the same. So then I'll cut that one. I find that it's easier to get your ribbons all the same length. If, if we, um, if I cut them when they're still on the pegs. Because then I can measure one to the next. And so I don't get them exactly the same. These ribbons, because they're in plum, I've been doing my granddaughter's wedding decorations and which taking a lots of plum ribbon. That's her color, plum. Plum and gray. And so, and then one more because I get them all cut. There we go. I take these extra pieces and when I, I don't throw these little pieces away like this. Because I throw these right in my um, my scrap basket. And when you buy scraps off of me for embellishments from my Etsy store, this is kind of what you get. You get ribbon, you get lace. I mean, not these short. Sometimes the lace, a piece of scrap lace might be a, almost a yard long. You never know. Okay, so let's see. I keep hitting that. Now I'll put pull that off of there. And see, now, especially if you were going to make um, bows for a wreath, you might want all of this below. You might want all of the strings. But see how that looks? I hope you can see it because it is so pretty. And this is four-inch ribbon. This is a four-inch width on this. And it'll go all the way across so you can get about a ten and a half inch width in your bow. So if you're making, if you've got that wide ribbon for like a um, wreath, you know, like wired ribbon or something, you can use this on that too. But, and you can make little tiny bitty ribbons. I have, I mean, bows. Like I have made um, little bows for this one girl that has a grooming pet groomers and she needs little tiny bows with a little teeny rubber band on there and so when I do that I put the little rubber band back on the back to on um, back to the ribbon on the front so the rubber rubber band gets tied right to the the bow so it goes right on to the little doggy's beautiful hairdo so that's what I wanted to show you it's just and hopefully um if you have questions, let me know. There's another, if you're using one-sided ribbon that it's just decorated, um, 
on one side, then there's a little twist you got to do in there. And maybe if you're interested, I'll, I'll show that one. But that's why I, I hope that showed up okay using this, this dark ribbon. I know it's quite dark, but um, that's, that's what I wanted to show you there. And, and I hope you could see it. And let me just for a minute here, let me reach over here. Let me get my boarding house reach there. Okay. Um, let me give you some um, positive affirmations this morning. I'm going to read this one. This is one. I am my own unique self. Everyone is unique and different. If we are like other people, then we are not expressing our own specialness. The second one says, I am perfect exactly as I am. If I wait until I become perfect before I love myself, I will waste my whole life. I am already perfect right here and right now. Please believe that, ladies and gents. Please believe that. I listen with love to my body's messages. My body, like everything else in life, is a mirror of my inner thoughts and beliefs. Every cell responds to every single thought I think and every word I speak. Again, a very good one. Okay, and so that's our positive affirmations for today. And thank you so much for watching. And please comment if you have trouble seeing this. Maybe I'll try it with a different color or something. And maybe I'll go on with... Um, big ribbon too like you would do a wreath and we'll see how that works with that i have not used a real big ribbon so that would be new for me too so thank you so much for watching come back again subscribe if you're not subscribed and push that like thumbs up thing for some reason i, I think it's just because you want to hitchhike to the next video i don't know but anyhow, um, God bless you all. May he watch over you every step you take and every move you make. I will see you on the next video, yours or mine. I will see you. Okay.